The views and opinions expressed in this broadcast do not necessarily reflect or represent the views and opinions of WBGR Network. Any questions or concerns about what is said should be directed to the show host, whose information will be provided upon request. guys came and they had masks on and robbed the place and 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 and, and raped her and, and murdered her it oh gosh it's just it was just so much so much to happen they robbed okay so you're saying they robbed the place and raped her and murdered her and yeah. where were you doing all this well i i was hiding and they had found me and one of the guys had told me was like, you know, he wanted me alive so I could tell the story. So So how do you know they raped or murdered if you was hiding? Well, you know, they, they almost had me watch it, you know, what happened. It, it it was it's it's still replaying in my head. It's it's crazy. It's it's So why not? Kill you. Why not rape you? Why did you stay alive? <laughs> Hi, good morning, you guys. So, as always, if you want to see why I'm laughing so hard behind the scenes, tune in as well because we're live IG right now. <laughs> so, today in the studio, as you saw from the pre clip, we had Miss Tyler J back with us. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so we had so much fun last time that she decided to come back and grace us, even though we invited her back like ages ago. That's true. <laughs> That's true. So the reason why she's back this time is because, girl, you work, 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 workaholic, work, 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 workaholic has been on the grind, you guys, everywhere. So DMV, stand up, pay attention because it's not only in the DMV, it's spreading out. Oh, yeah, oh, God. yeah, it's, it's all over. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. I, I can't stay in one area for too long, I get a little bored, so that's how it happens. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> so tell us about some of the things that you've been doing so far. Oh, man, where do I even start? I had was featured actually in a scary movie in Philadelphia. Cool. I was also in an international movie called, it is called Kwang Lee. I don't know if I'm saying it right, because I wish I was Dominican. I'm like, Kwang Lee Oon. You know, like <laughs> but it's the name of the movie. I could be wrong. Forgive me. It's Kwang Lee Oon, and it has featured so many major international artists in there. It's crazy. What language is that? Spanish. And I, it actually was in New York. And that's the second time I've been to New York. Last first time, it was like over ten years ago. Mm -hmm. So it was very, y'all. DC ain't got none on New York. I'm sorry. They they crazy over All there. All the way live. Don't no signals or no nothing. Child. Oh my goodness. Do not drive in New York. Sorry, New Yorkers, but I, you know most New Yorkers who move to Maryland don't have that license because there's no point to have a license in New York. You get around faster on your bike. Feet, yeah. Bike. Metro, yeah. subway, whatever. Yeah, it's crazy. It was so many people, girl. I, I could, love New York. Ooh, I love it, but I wouldn't stay there. Though. I couldn't. That's a game. More power to y'all, New Yorkers. Right. Sorry, I, I bow <laughs> down to you, and I love it. But it's like it's like century overload. It is, and it's you know it's crazy. I actually uh, heard uh, someone who actually was from New York who said the traffic here is way worse in New York, and I'm just like, what? How is that? Okay, so I've heard Merlinders can't drive. Oh, that's a fact. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who's worse, D.C., Merlin, or Virginia. Just around here in general, you guys, come on, Wusa. I just had a Wusa come in here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and listen, real And they all them face like, yeah. I'm like, oh. And then, no, look, how are you driving? 
And if you all into my Girl, face like this. If he's gonna be blasting the music in a nice black charger, honey, you know, feeling his vibe. He looking over here and I'm like. I'm feeling myself. I'm you know what I'm saying? Myself. Looking like an old man on steroids. Girl, I don't got time oh, for that. Oh, terrible. I don't got time for that. So, wait. Here's the thing. Yes. Just leave earlier. Please. <laughs> Take your time. Do it right. You can do baby dude tonight. Come on. That's oh, saying. my goodness. <laughs> wait a minute. Uh, I say that all the time. Repeat. I'm going to rewind that unless she repeats it. Okay, go ahead. Take your time. Do it right. You can do it, baby. Do it tonight. Even though that doesn't really match, but it, it matches, though. So. I'm just going to say that. Yes, of course. I'm going to do it, baby. Do it tonight. Do it tonight. <laughs> well, actually, do it this morning. You know what I'm saying? It's drive. Do, do it right. Take your time. <laughs> so tell us about the projects. Because I know you have a few. You were just on, like, a radio circuit or whatever it's called, a media circuit. Yeah, I literally just did a interview with Spotlight Over the City. Shout out to them in D.C. Hey! Hi. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm actually in an upcoming play. I'm so excited. <laughs> um, it is actually written and directed by a wonderful, wonderful writer named Akiva. Shout out to Akiva for today. It's called Deep Cover. Mm-hmm. It is such a wonderful play. The writing, the everything is happening this weekend, June 8th and June 9th. Saturday is going to be at 6 p.m. And then Sunday is going to be a little early at 4 p.m. at Harmony Hall in Fort Washington. So it's in the area. $25 in advance, no $30 excuses. at the door. No excuses. <laughs> and girl, when I say it's a bomb play... Oh my goodness, the writing is phenomenal. It's about a son who, you know, is trying to stand up for black people, and his father is a pastor, honey. You know, it gets messy after that. Pastor kids. Pat PKs. <laughs> I ain't one, but I do know some. I know some. I hate them. Oh, y'all had the most fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm also, before we go there, I'm also doing Winston Cheney <laughs> tomorrow at 8 a.m. at Radio 1. I'm going to be on his show. I also hey. shout out to Silk White, Silk White, I said Silk, Silk White, who I'm also going to be in his movie as well called Serial Cheaters. So it's a little bit of, you Juicy. know. Juicy. Okay. So. Yes, ma'am. What's that song? Oh, God. I know you got a girl. <laughs> Why you want me? Is that SZA or something? Girl, don't get me twisted, and I ain't singing no more because that's all you get. <laughs> that's all you get. <laughs> but yeah, cheetahs. So tell us about that. Well, it actually is. I mean, it's it's just so many things to talk about when it comes to that movie. He's a wonderful, wonderful director. He's also doing so many other web series mm-hmm. too. So, girl, I can't go into detail about that one. I gotta wait for that one. But, uh, girl, it's it's so much going on in my life. It's crazy how the last time I came here, I felt like I looked like a completely different person. <laughs> like, the you know, looks are fabulous. Oh, thank you. I the look. I put my makeup in my hair. Thank you. I know. Last time, you guys, if you didn't see last time, we were talking about hair because I'm like, okay, this natural thing is not new to me, but it's new to me. It's not new to me because I haven't had a perm in years, but me caring is new, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Shout out to you keeping your hair straight as mm-hmm. a natural because the struggle will be real, honey. I don't know how you do it. I, I don't know. I straightened this like, I don't even know. Oh my gosh. Shout as long as I wrap girl. it up, it stays cool. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But girl, I can't, I can't tame this. This is, this is the tame the beast. real. Oh my god, it took my full five. I was doing the same thing. I can't. Oh, see, no. Oh, I know. See, this is why I can't spend over an hour on my hair. I can't even spend 30 minutes. Me and patience in this girly crap. You're <laughs> <laughs> like, you trying to look so cute, but it don't happen that way. You just want to be like, and boom, like it's done. T-shirts, Child. sweatpants, oh my tennis shoes. Hey, my name's Tyler. How you doing? Hey. Say, <laughs> hey. So, right. so, we were having this conversation. Mm-hmm. Um... You guys, if you missed it, we went live Tuesday night, Wednesday night. I don't know. <laughs> we went live on Facebook. So go check out um, my personal page, Naja Carter, at Facebook, because we went live with Troy Rollins, who's coming into the area and doing a special show July the 28th, mm-hmm. you guys, but the sex, love, and relationships. And we were talking about women in skirts. So this girly thing, and I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm not I'm not I'm not that one right so what do you think about women femininity skirts <laughs> I mean it's it's crazy because when I was younger I never even wore a skirt to school like high school and all that stuff I always wore pants um I try to get a little a little some some with it but it wasn't no, nothing special or anything mm-hmm. 
I mean, it, it wasn't my thing. And I guess the older I got, the more I started to feel more comfortable wearing skirts mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But I'm, girl, I'm a sweatheart. Oh, sweatheart. See? <laughs> sweatheart. A sweatpants kind of girl, okay? Right, easy. Yeah, this, so you know, easy and, and it's comfortable. Uh, you know, you can relax and vibe and, re- you know, chill. We're in the Woosa. No makeup <laughs> on. You know, that, that's the kind of thing. But then when it comes to times where you got to get a little spicy, you know, got a little, you know, say not just salt pepper. You can have that seasoning on no, so I'm not adding no seasoning because I ain't cooking. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> terrible. Oh, shout out, Carter. Oh, love you. <laughs> oh, but you look cute today. I love the eyeshadow and everything. So you did a little something, something. Sometimes it's good enough. Wednesdays only. <laughs> she didn't mean that, y'all. She didn't mean that. She, she did kind of mean that, but she didn't mean that. I would deny. I, I, look, look. I, Forget the sweatshirts and the and the t shirts okay. and the sweatpants. Right, right. The makeup is another thing. Oh. Ladies, from what I hear from talking to a lot of men, mm-hmm. they actually prefer to know what you look like without the makeup on because they don't want to be bamboozled. Right. <laughs> I heard a lot of guys I should take females to, you mm-hmm. know, swim and stuff, like the beaches, so that they can, you know, wipe the face, you know, and then you see a whole bunch of you know. you know, there's a lot of women who won't go to beaches and stuff because they don't want to. Really? Isn't it sad? It is, but it's an insecure kind of thing. One thing I can say about us females is that we are sometimes very insecure with mm-hmm. ourselves. And sometimes it can turn to jealousy. It can turn to enviness because we hate on the next person. Crap. Yeah. And unfortunately, that leads to other things. But you got to be comfortable with yourself. I'm so sorry. So how did you get comfortable with yourself being in the public spot? Because that's where you get the most comments and why this and why that. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not going to lie to you. I'm a kind of female that is going to do what she wants. Hey. Um, it's, it's funny because a lot of people can have so much opinions about what you need to be doing. In reality, I only worry about what I'm going to be doing. Mm-hmm. And food for thought, that's what it's going to stay. That's how it's going to be. In order to stay happy. Exactly. I'm going to do what I want, when I want, how I'm going to do it, and when I'm going to do it. That's just how it is. And a lot of people can't get with that because they're like, wow, how do you do it? How do you do it? God, I'm, yes. I'm sorry. I, I got to give him the thanks and glory because it took me. People think I came this person mm-hmm. and all the things that I've been doing. They think it happened just yesterday. No, it's a buildup. And it's a, it's a process. It's a purpose. You can't. I didn't come like this today. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It took a lot of mistakes. It took a lot of. I used to say words over and over and over. Affirmations, and like baby. What? I mean, mm-hmm. my man tried to write literally words on paper to make sure I don't say it. Those fillers. Yes. Those filler words. So it was it was terrible. I had to literally do videos over and over again. No one knows the struggle of why I came here. But at the same time, it, eventually you just got to get used to it, you know, because the haters are going to come. The lovers are going to come. Regardless and just what of what it you is. do. Exactly. Mm-hmm. No matter, I could be working nine to five and I'll probably still be having, well, a little bit less haters. But I'll what? still be fine. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's like from it. a business perspective as well. We get a bad rep sometimes when mm-hmm. we handle our business, when we're talking about our money and when we go for what we want because right. women are supposed to be like that. Yeah, absolutely. So right. how do you, how do you, is that the same mentality when it comes to a business woman mm-hmm. is considered a B if she's on her grind? Well, you right? know what? I guess I'm going to have to be considered a B for today, honey, because when I say... I mean, I'm, I'm so independent. Yeah, and yeah. It, sometimes it's a good and bad thing, you know? Because mm-hmm. sometimes it's like, you don't want no one help because, you know, they're going to, oh, you know, remember when I helped you out. And it, people are funny. And, of us. and I don't got time to be worrying about if I got to trust you or not. It should be a yes or a no. Girl, life goes on. I don't got time to be worrying about, hey, are you going to talk about me behind my back? Who got time for those things? And I'm moving like this. You're moving like this. Who have time to sit there and guess a friendship guests a relationship, family, friends, whomever, who has time. So me personally, I could just cut them off. Because it's <laughs> So you see your circle getting smaller. Girl, I'm gonna circle. <laughs> <That's a> dot, <laughs> honey. <laughs> so here's dot. the thing. The the path to success can mm-hmm. be a lonely one, especially in the beginning, because people don't see your vision the way you see your vision. And so yeah. people always come at you and say, Why are you doing it? Why are you doing yeah. it this way? Oh, Why you don't change you do it this stuff. way? You, you don't act the same. I no used to more. get offended when people say I change, but you know what? I change, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Because it, it, because here's the thing. 
You cannot stay the same yeah. to, and get where you want to go if right. you've never been there before. You have to switch up something in order to go somewhere new, right? I agree. Change your circle, change your thoughts, you change something. You have to, and the crazy thing is, I mean, I've had friendships, relationships, family ships, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> for years. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it's all, it was all gone like this as soon mm-hmm. as I started to get more things and do more things. And I'm a person, I love people. Mm-hmm. I love, I have a huge heart. I care. When I care about you, Mm -hmm. it's like, look, you can have this off my back. That's fine. You know, at the same time, these people are coming at me crazy. These people are, 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 you know, oh, now you acting like this. Now you don't got time for me. No, I have time for you. I just don't want to spend my time with you. You guys, the one thing you cannot get back is time. And a lot of times, yeah. what you got to understand when you come at people who are moving is if they're moving at full speed and you're just kind of yeah laid back, yeah. they cannot slow down. You need to speed up because if you want a part of what that had, you have to get momentum. You yeah. have to get a fire under your butt. Yeah. Sorry. And, and the crazy thing is, is that everybody has goals. Every And it, it's enough room for everybody. Hopefully. <laughs> Because I mean, some people don't have goals. People don't know what to do next. Yeah. But when you know somebody who is on this type of caliber, it affects you in a negative way because you're like, wow, she's doing instead of it pushing right, you, you down, yeah. and and okay, you know what? If she can do it, I can do it too. You're like, oh heck no, nah, she doing it. I wanna, you know, what about my goals? Oh, you don't support me on what mm-hmm. I do. Uh, 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 can you see you? <laughs> You speaking- people will support you if they see that you are do- going to do it regardless because right. then like okay I see that you got this going on and that you want to go do this so here let me help you out right and see if yeah. people was really smart they would hold on yeah if, if they were really smart to a honest. lot of times I found that people act that way because you make them uncomfortable with themselves because yeah. you're changing it and they see that they're not doing what they want to do and they feel uncomfortable intimidation intimidated it is what it is so we're going to pause right here, you guys, only because I want to make sure that I um, let you guys see some of the fire that we're going to be having on June 30th at this dance challenge while we take a little break. If you want to see some behind the scenes, like I said, go to IG Live at Get It Got It Good at G3. Um, we're also live other way, other places too. Hey. <laughs> we're live in a lot of other places. <laughs> Everywhere. So, right. so we will be right back after this brief commercial on the upcoming, um, Two Stylish Entertainment Dance Challenge. I ain't afraid to drown. If that means I'm deep up in your ocean, yeah Girl, I'll drink you down Sipping on your body all night And with the rain on it Cause I pulled out a million cash, all I plank on it What you doing, uh-huh, uh Softer than the mother, boy, I know you wanna touch Breathing down my neck, I could tell you wanna I like stunning, I like shining, I like million dollar deals, where's my pen, bitch I'm signing I like those Balenciagas, the ones that look like socks, I like going to the Tula, I put rocks all in my watch I like sexes from my exes when they want a second chance, I like proving wrong, I do what they say I can They call me party, party, banging body, spicy mommy, hot tamale, hotter than a Somali, fur coat, fuck, fuck
Or you break something. I just want to get a good shot so I don't run out the door. Hey guys, so we are back. So thank you for all of your comments on IG and on Facebook. We're under Tyler J's page, one of the 50 million. Oh, <laughs> look for gosh. the act <laughs> look for Tyler J actress, you guys. This is a woman of multiple talents and multiple hats. So, you know, just follow us. But there is a comment that I want to chime in on from my personal perspective. Um it is it's about family. I love my family. I love mine too. <laughs> I, I believe family is is your heart and soul and can definitely help you get places. But I also think family can hold you back. And blood is not always thicker than water because some family members are not the ones who you could go to <laughs> in the case of emergency. Now, it, it also depends on if it's your household or whatever, how you guys roll. But I know in every family, it doesn't operate that way. So I just wanted to say that I love my family to death. I love mine too. <laughs> and then there's some of them that I don't talk to, I don't know. So it is what it is. <laughs> when I, I, I meant it when I said it's a dot. Like, I sincerely mean it. The people who know that are there for me, they know exactly who they are. Um, but I don't claim a lot of people, including family and friends. I don't do that. Family will get you in trouble. I'm just saying. Yeah, and it's all about people's intentions. You know, if, if their intentions are good <laughs> to see you well and successful and doing good, then it's going to be there. But if it's more of bashing and talking about how you're back, then that's a completely different conversation. You can have great people that is not biologically connected to Oh, you. my goodness. Like, hello. Like, hey, we ain't connected, you know, but we connecting. Hello. Right? You know what I'm saying? Hey, we are Siamese. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh, so, yes, we have issues in here. But, hey, guess what? If you're not having fun doing what you do in life, then change it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. I definitely knew that I had to do something bigger than I ever thought. And mm -hmm. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, you, you think about quitting so many times because it's hard. You lose people. You lose things. And you sacrifice. You compromise. You sacrifice. And it's, it gets like, is this really worth it? Am I really going to be where you at? And I think about yeah. that almost every single day. Am I really going to be to the potential that I can really be at? And obviously, if things are not working, that means that you need to change it. Mm -hmm. But if things are working in your favor, then obviously you're doing something right. And that's when I realized, so, you know, screw it. I just got to do what I got to do. No matter how much leaves, who, who goes, who stays, it's not even about them. You live yeah. your own life. You only have one life to live. And so life is so short. Mm -hmm. It's so short. So I said, the heck with it. I'm going to do what, I, like I said, I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm going to be me. All and day, a lot of people every day. don't have that kind of vibe, and that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. <laughs> Yay. Hopefully, hopefully. So, and I always yeah. think, you know, nothing is easy. When you're going to get someplace different, you're going to go through trials and tribulations. That's not what we're saying. We're saying that God will open the doors. You're going to go through some stuff, but you'll see that that's the path you're supposed to be on. Mm -hmm. And if it's difficult for you to remove certain influential people from your life that are not necessarily the best people in your life, then he'll remove them for you. <laughs> right? Shout so out to you for the it, it, it is what it is. So yeah. projects that are coming up. Well, like I said, I have to play. I'm going to be in one of Silk White's movie. Um, I mean, what else can I possibly say? It's just so much going on. I'm also going to be in the movie in Africa as well. Um, and Africa, I'm, yes. unite. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just, I'm trying to really brand my myself outside of the DMV area. Mm -hmm. um, of course, in the major cities, you know, New York, Atlanta, stuff like that nature, because I really want to grow um, that's one thing that I think really people are afraid of is growing and, and challenge and... That's the change part, yeah, guys. and change. Oh, my goodness. Change is so scary. It is so freaky. It is not normal. You feel out of place, but somehow the change works in better ways because that's, that's what change is about. You can't, like what you say, you can't mm -hmm. stay the same person. And if you are really serious about your purpose and, you know, what you really live for, then you just got to do what you got to do, you know? So, I was talking to Brittany and you guys from BET's um, Boomerang series, mm -hmm. and she was saying how 
you have to stay in class. You have to continually, and it may not necessarily be like an acting class or whatever. It could be whatever, but you have to continually develop and educate yourself in whatever your career, area, professional, whatever is. Mm-hmm. Um, so what do you feel about it? And how do you stay on top of your game? Um... Well, it's funny because I've never done a play before mm-hmm. and I'm doing it my first time this week. Um, you you have to... One way to stay on top of your game is just to continue to do it. You know, it's crazy because when I was young, when I was playing the piano, I was playing it like when I was like six, seven years old. Mm-hmm. My brothers taught me. Shout out to my brothers. And when they taught me... You know, I will always hear something like, turn that down. No one wants to hear all of that. What are you doing? Just be quiet. Keep mm-hmm. Turn that thing off. Go do something else. Mm-hmm. And it really discouraged me. You know, as a kid, you don't know. You're just like, well, dang, like, yeah. should I? And so my brothers were like, no, keep going. Keep going. And see, the more that I sincerely kept going, it, mm-hmm. I got better at it. I kept getting better at it. And then I kept challenging. Okay, switch this, switch that. So... Mm-hmm. Somehow, you just got to keep doing it. That's when I said three years. It took me three years to get to this point. I'm still not even where I even want to be. But people think it happens just yesterday. And unfortunately, in this demographic, we have the, the tendency of wanting it now. You know, yeah. I decided it today, so I want it now. And that's not how it works, especially if that's what you really want to do. You don't get it now. I'm sorry. If you get tired... Because you don't get it now, then maybe you should be doing something else. Because there is no overnight successes. I know a lot of times the media be like, hey, yeah. look at this overnight. You yeah. just can't. No, no, yeah. no. It don't work that way. Yeah. It takes years. But in the same token, the journey's fun. And if you look back on where you started, can't you see the growth? Oh Isn't that exciting? God. I just watched my first video that I ever did. It was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I was like, oh, my God. Like, how are you doing? Oh, my God. <laughs> I was horrible it was it was and I looked at myself and I was like wow this is appropriate but you know it is a learning curve you it guys is, I'm telling you it's hard it is hard but anything that's easy is not worth it I'm sorry if you get it easy you got to question yourself and point. you don't appreciate it the same no you don't so I just posted something on one of my IGs she got like three I swear she yeah I know I know I know Anyway, I posted something about success overnight creates ego and mm. something development creates, I don't know. Go check out my page. <laughs> <laughs> That's the easiest way I can tell you. Yeah. So we actually have another clip from Tyler J. And um, so we will be right back with you guys in less than two minutes this time. So we'll be right back.
Goosebumps. The next door, the door is open. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Hey guys, so we are back. <laughs> oh, OMG. So, you guys, I hope you enjoyed that clip. Um, yeah, <laughs> let's see how good the mics are for that one. <laughs> So, I'm going to stop being bad today. I don't know. Maybe because it's hot. I need to turn back on the air. How about that? It is summertime. So, you got to have a little bit of fun and live life. So, us workaholics, mm. I'm talking to us. Mm -hmm. Are you going to have any fun this summer? At least, like, one day, hiding, beach, something? Uh, personal life is definitely <laughs> completely different from professional <laughs> Uh, probably not. Yeah, probably not. No, not, not really. Not today. And it was crazy <laughs> that um, I've been going to like the store. I should start going to the gym. <laughs> and girl, they'd be like, I know you from somewhere. And I'd be like, oh my gosh. I don't, it's weird because I don't like attention. As, as crazy as I may like sound. It. I do not enjoy attention. I think it's freaky. So when they be saying that, I'd be wanting to hide so badly. It's ridiculous. I don't like attention either. Hence the reason I usually have on sweatpants and a t-shirt in public. Like, yeah, mommy mode. Hey. Right. Like, I'm going to a, a ball game tonight. Guess what? Sweatpants. Sweatpants. <laughs> right? So, you guys, really quick, because <laughs> we are always running out of time here. Mm. Um, Next week, you guys, I just want to run down a few things. First, the sponsors, which is Favor One. Um, DSYO, Dance Solutions, One Man Sharp is Another, ESTA, um, Two Stylish Entertainment. So, Two Stylish Entertainment is putting on a dance challenge. You've seen the video. You're about to see another clip for that of some of the judges that will be there. But they're putting on a dance challenge on June 30th on 3700 Toon Street in Baltimore, 21224. That is going to be off the chain. If you're interested in that, you need to be at least two people in a group there's a junior and a senior competition three hundred and fifty dollars for the juniors a thousand dollars for the seniors plus interviews and opportunities to perform at various events including um two stylish entertainment show J july the 28th um in virginia in fairfax virginia as well as esther celebrity flag football back to school drive which, by the way, we have some players coming out, which is like Denarian McCants from um, Redskins. We have Trader K performing from 300 Entertainment. We have Craig T. Dobson performing an anthem. We have um, a lot of people, you guys. I can't even think right now on the spot who's coming out. But a lot of people coming out. A lot of polishers are coming out. We're giving out a lot of money for the kitties there. So definitely stay tuned for those. Um... Next week, we have BCPD, Orlando Lily coming on to talk about community policing. Oh. So, let's see how that goes. Right. <laughs> and then we also have um, Miss Marilyn 2018, Adriana David coming on. Beautiful Miss Adriana's coming on as well. So, that will be interesting. And... I don't know if I just lost you guys. Ha! There you go. <laughs> um, so that's next week. So Tuesday, we're having a special live event at 9.30 p.m. this Tuesday night. Facebook Live and IG Lives. You have to follow me at Get It Got It Good G3 on IG. And also follow me at Naja Carter on Facebook and Get It Got It Good G3 on Facebook as well because we will be interviewing Judah Priest from Wu-Tang Clan, also 144 Chosen Few. So definitely you don't want to miss that. I get to ask him whatever and there's no <laughs> time limit. Right, so right. definitely tune in for that. Miss Tyler J, how do people find you? Well, they can find me on Facebook, Ugh, Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, uh, Twitter. My name, I'm a little bit special, so my name is spelled T-Y-E hyphen L-E-R-J-A-E. My Instagram name is T-Y-E L-E-R underscore J-A-E, and I probably have like a thousand Facebook pages, but you can find one. Just, fine. just follow yeah, them just, all. Just eeny, meeny, miny, mo, you know, so that's about it. Yeah, right, right. So you guys... Before I let you guys go to watch my fabulous dancers and Judah introduce himself for third Tuesday, <laughs> then 
I cannot leave you without saying, being original. <laughs> it's hard being original, but it's good to be original. And original is always worth more than a copy, so Ooh, hey. Child, be child. Like. <laughs> so you guys, I will see you guys next week. Enjoy the rest of the promotionals. See you guys later. Bye. Thank you for having me. Brand new whip, got no keys Tell my clothes, no starch, please Soon as I nut, you can go, please Got M's in the bank, like, yes, indeed Me and my dog going off the way When you're living like this, they supposed to hate Said so. Get deep in that Pepto. I got five on it like Ben Folds. I got more tail than that Petco. You faker than some sweet and low. Yeah, you got some silverware, but really, are you eating no? Yeah. Are you eating no? Nigga, are you eating no? Breakfast, lunch, and dinners for beginners. You ain't eating no. Never catching cases. Why they faces look so EMO? Watch a hater hate me. Wanna play me like a piano? I wake up, I wanna dance. So as long as I got my friends, I'm better. Booty go clap, roll up in the beans, looking like a teen. When I rock, make it bop in my car, and it bang, 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 bang like you go blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Successful um, Artist Achievement Awards here in Hagerstown, Maryland. You know, I mean, I got, I'm out here with my 144,000 chosen few family, uh, my GT management family. So we just wanted to sit, come back. You know, what I mean, to show artists that they are appreciated. You know, what I mean, there's somebody's watching them. You know, what I mean. Look, and I have to say that is in my overall. So I'm gonna leave it at that, like you said. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, guys, we'll tune in live later today because we will be coming.